I like that headline, Giants Big Gamble. <laughs> Spending spree is complete. Uh, I, I'm just absolutely stunned it was structured the way it was. Blake Snell, Cy Young Award winner, San Diego Padre, ex-Tampa Bay Ray, two-time award winner, two-year, $62 million deal to go to San Francisco with the right to opt out after the first year. Now, I don't understand this. Somebody needs to explain to the general manager of the Giants, and then you can explain it to me, why you would do this type of deal this way. Because not only are you going to pay him $31 million for the first year of the contract, you have to pay a $31 million tax. So it's, it's a $4 million tax on the first year of the contract. And the Giants give up a second and third round pick and a million in international signing money, John, to get him for one year. If he comes back the second year, okay, there's your investment. But if he's there one season, one and done, and you pay the 31 mil, the 4 million tax on the first year of the contract, and you give up a second and a third round draft pick, which are kind of like gold, yeah, and you lose a million in international signing pool, how is that a good business investment you're a damn Giants fan. Explain your club. Well, it, that, it, first of all, we knew that the one-year opt-out, that's why the Yankees and the, the luxury tax, we went through this in detail. Why would the Giants do it? My guess is, is they want to demonstrate to their fans that they are serious, that they want to win. And, you know, they have been kind of coyly playing this out, you know, for the last few months. So the price came down. So the price came kind down. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, kind of. So, you know, I feel kind of bad for Snell because, you know, he thought he was going to make big money. He's kind of gotten screwed in this whole thing, at least as far as the market is going in unexpected ways. Can he bounce back, Lee? Can can he rebound? Can he prove it again? You know, the other act, uh, idol, he just got to spring training. And he just said last night, out of one side of his mouth, he might need three weeks to ramp up to be ready to pitch in a major league game. <laughs> I saw that. So that's five starts, probably. Yeah, so yeah. you're getting a fraction of a season. Yeah, if he doesn't have a problem. I mean, he came around this morning and indicated, well, maybe I can pitch out of the bullpen to start the season well. So that's where we are there. Now, it's just not Snell. They did the deal to get Matt Chapman, the Toronto Blue Jays third baseman. Oh, yeah. They did opt out with him, had to give up a draft pick. Uh, they signed Jorge Soler, Miami power hitter, strikeout artist, DH. He's got an opt out. Signed Jordan Hicks of the Cardinals. He's got an opt out. The only one that doesn't that's locked down is the Japanese or the Korean slugger, Jung Lee, five years, no opt outs. To me, it makes no business sense if you're trying to resurrect San Francisco Giant baseball to sign these guys, give them opt outs, knowing you have to you have to give up draft picks because each of these guys were given qualifying offers by their team. Right. So I do the math, and I wasn't real good in math, but at the end of the day, this this does not sound like a good investment for San Francisco. Yeah, well, the Giants, you know, they had that great, you know, youth movement, you know, when they started winning all the World Series mm -hmm. 15 years ago. But um, the, since then, their their farm system hasn't been that good. I mean, they got a couple of gems in there, but I don't necessarily think they're one of the top rated farm systems. You'd think they'd want to replenish. But you got to tip your hat to A.J. Preller for doing the qualifying offer. So now they're, they're, we're going to get compensation. I say we. The Padres are going to get compensation from the Giants, and that works out pretty well. Yeah, a Giant fan just texted me saying, what are you using the term we as it relates to the Padres? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, let's go from that. You got an opinion. If you're a Giant fan, you're a baseball fan, Good investment, bad investment, big gamble on Blake Snell, San Francisco.